Hello, welcome to Walk Out with Katie. Today we're going to be using resistant bands and hand weight. So we're going to start in the sitting position. If you wish to do this standing up, go ahead. So we're in a comfortable seated position, shoulders on top of hips, knees on top of ankle, chest proud. We're not pushing the stomach forward. Neutral spine. Inhale your arms up above the head, turn the palm up, exhale again. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We now roll our breath. Two more. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Big, big stretch. Exhale. I'm down with your side. Stretch out the neck next. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide and support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here. For three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Repeat on the other side. Use your shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to dial as for the head. If there's any clicking sound, any stiffness, just stay here for a little bit longer. One more breath. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, and exhale to open up the right shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, and exhale to the other side. Know your range of motion. Inhale, and exhale. Left in the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, and exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Slowly come back to center, take a breath here. Looking at the right armpit, slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. One more breath, and we slowly come back to center, repeat on the other side. Look at the armpit, chin is looking down, 45 degree angle. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here, shoulder strap, right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first, place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide outward, tricep stretch, chin up, eyes looking forward. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side. I'm up and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues or any issues. And we're going to slowly release. Same arm up, we link them first, place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide that will tricep stretch. Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Try to bring the fingers closer and closer together. Don't worry if you're not able to bring the hands together. Slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades. Opening up one heart chest. Improving your posture. Oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly come back to center. We're going to inhale the arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, we come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist, chin is away from the body. Feel the length in the side of your body. Don't cramp. Inhale, center lengthen. 
Exhale, go to the other side. Outside hand, grab a hold of the chin is away from the body. Slowly come back to center, the length of the spine, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing you. Look at the top palm like you look at yourself in the mirror. Slowly come back to center, the length of the spine, exhale, and go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing you. Side body long. Slowly come back to center to lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist, opposite hand up to the thigh. Back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck to. Massage your turn organs. Stretching our lower back muscles. Turning the neck to. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent. Looking up. Slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly right behind the spine. So when you keep turning, over looking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck too. See if you can turn a little bit more with these exhale breath and the help of the front hand. Do not feel a back muscle or neck tissue. One more breath. I'm going to slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other one. Forming a crescent. Looking up. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall here. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Grab a hold of your good bang, of the great bang. When you're ready, Bring a shift arrow, pull back and release. So one hand move the thumb through, the other one, pull back, shoot the arrow. Sitting up nice and tall. Engage your core thumb and the muscles, which means pull your belly in towards the spine. But don't squeeze so hard that you're cramping. Let's do another three. Two and one, repeat on the other side. Shoot the arrow, pull back and release. Let's do another three, two and one. Very good, release. And we lift the band behind us. We work the other arm. Elbows in, elbows up. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. We never hold our breath. And we don't breathe with the mouth open. Let's do another three, two, and one. Release, switch inside. Are you ready? Extend. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Release. I'm going to work the other arm. We're going to keep this behind us. Pull it up. 
Thanks, Lynn. Check your Yukuma regularly for wear and tear. When you release, nice and slow with control, so it's not going to snap back into you. Let's do another three, two, and one, and switch inside. Let one arm behind you. Extend, pull it up. Let's go another three, two, and one. Release, shake it up, bring the band across your chest, loop the thumb through, and we're going to extend. Try your best. Those who are using the longer resistant band, fold it in half, adjust it to suit your body type, your ability. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good, slowly, slowly, really shake it up. In between side, we'll do other stretches. Alternating shoulder roll, one other one down. Make a movement if you like. Be mindful not to hit the chair, other furniture in your household. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Bring the band behind your back. And we're also going to extend. So this one may be a little bit tougher. Like that one closer to your body and then extend. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly really shake it out, loosen up. Feel right on wrist rotation. Really say attention that you may have. Change direction. Act over close your body, forward backwards, back and down. Thumb up, forward backwards. Change like bump, give it a very, very gentle twist. And shake, shake, shake. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. We're going to place it on our foot. Doesn't matter which one. Sitting up nice and tall, we inhale to lift up. Extend, lower down. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Control your movement always. Make your movement if you like. We are not kicking. We are not hitting. Swing. Increase flexibility, mobility in your joint. While we stretch, strengthen, tone, condition, muscle mass. Maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we eat. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, switching side. So when you're ready, up, 
extend, point the toes up to the ceiling and release. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Bigger arm if you like. Feel free to go back to smaller movements. Know your range of motion always. Right side may be different from the left side, so that's perfectly normal. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to take the foot out. We're going to go to the stronger loop bend. And we're going to place it on the thigh. Bigger muscle, the quadriceps. up. So I'm using a stronger band. So feel free to have different weight of band that you can move up and down to suit your needs. Now we're gonna open up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs. So when we open, open, toes are pronated out. Feel the stretch here. If you're really tight hip and in the thigh, just be more mindful. In knees together, to pitch and toes. Toes are pronated in. So open, close. When you're in, squeeze. Pretend there's a ball between your thighs and you want to squeeze. So be mindful for those who have very tight hip joint. Adding the arms when we open, go close arm, half facing knee, in, elbows in, knees together. So open, close. And your breath and your pace. your breath and your pace. Right. Make sure you don't go beyond your shoulder range. You should be able to see your hands in front of you. Let's do another three, two, and one. Keep the legs going. So when we open, arms up above the head. Palm touch, release index fingers in, elbows down, knees together. Upper body is going up and down. Lower half of the body is going open close. Continue to lengthen the spine, stretching out the back. Why we maintain muscle mass, bone density, great flexibility, mobility in your joints. Let's do another three, two, and one. Release the arm, keep the legs open, open close. Bring the arms back up, arm facing me. When we open, we open. When we close, palm down. So. Keep going at your breath and your pace. So another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to move it further down to the cap. Sit up nice and tall here. Feel free to hold on to your chair. Knee up, extend a little bit open, close, and down. So, whatever you do, don't lean back too much. If you need back support, 
There is a bum cushion a pillow behind your back. So we need extend, open, close, and down. Firming up the core abdominal muscles by re-strengthening the legs. Try your best. Extend, open, close, and down. So keep going a few more rounds. Let's do another three. Two. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. And place one foot into the bend. So this one, if you like, can use, if you like the figure eight, go ahead, use the figure eight. So I'm going to place one foot into the bend. We're going to go here up. Extend open through the stretching your inner thigh, sit up tall, bring it in, lower down. So opposite arm, opposite legs. So we just do, uh, do a few more sets of hip opener, opening up the hip joints, stretching the hip flexor. Now, if at any time you're tired, you have enough of this, you can come out of this, take a break. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. So let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Ready, knee up. Extend, open, close, and down. Keep going in your breath and your pace. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release and remove the band. We're going to get ready to rise up and we're going to continue with standing. So take water if you need. equipment with you. Your um, hamstring strut. So holding on to your chair, if you are able to bring the leg up on the chair, go ahead. If that's too high for you, feel free to do this on the floor. So shift the weight to a standing leg, point the front toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale, hinging from the hips, leaving with the chest, forward bend. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to deeper, exhale to fold. Bring your stomach a little bit closer. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up to release. Alternating bending knees, mountain climbing bicycle. Release any tension that you may have. And we'll repeat on the other side. So, uh, up, the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part foot, the legs. So, release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, not rounding the back or dropping the head. You're going to hinge from the hip to come down. Have the length of the legs out of both. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. If you have a very tight hamstring, have a slight bend in your knees. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Two, release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release the tension that you may have. Very big stretch. Put your subtract. Shift weight to a standing leg. Bring up the other foot. 
If you're not able to reach for your foot, you can use your yoga strap to help you get into the pose. Holding on to your toes. Pick up the foot. Not opening up the thighs, knees together. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle. Top spine. Engage your core abdominal muscle. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating bending your knees. Mountain climbing, bicycle. And we will repeat on the other side. So much just the to the standing leg. Bring up the other foot. Quadriceps stretch, knees together. Take the foot into your hand. Abs are firm. Feel free to turn into balancing. Make sure it's a safe practice for you. Quadriceps stretch, strengthening the standing leg and ankle. Fall prevention. Holding it here for three, two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Alternating bending your knees. Mountain climbing, basically. Release the intention that you may have. Slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna stretch out the firming up your glutes, your butt. So we're gonna pick up the long bend. Doesn't matter which leg you start, so you're gonna place the foot into the band, adjust the length of your band, strip the weight to one leg, bring up the other leg, small little kick, firming up your butt, your glutes, big piece of muscle there. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release and repeat on the other side. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Swing up the other leg. Small little kick. Firming up your butt, your glutes. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, alternating bending your knees. Now we're done with the chair, so we're going to put the chair aside. Clear your space. Pick up your head weight. All ten toes facing in front, legs are hipward. Tuck the elbow close your body, palm facing up. Single, single. Once again, feel free to have different weight level that you can move up and down to suit your level, your ability. Challenge yourself. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Good posture always. Shoulders on top of hips. Hips on top of ankle. And those who are using heavier weight, feel free to go down to lighter weight during the workout. Let's try some doubles. And you can also continue a single, single. When you release nice and slow, control your movement always. Abs are firm, which means pull the belly in towards the spine. Now we're going to add the knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Fast to height, you don't have to go very far down. Not sticking the butt out. Not pushing the knee beyond the toes. Strong arms, strong core. We're going to continue to strengthen the legs to support knee function. No muscle in the knees, only ligaments and tendons. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Bring the weight up to the shoulder height. Push it up. One at a time.
Hold on tight. Don't drop your weight. Let's try some doubles. Let's do another three, two, and one. Add a knee drop if you like. Knee drops are optional. Just going to do a few rounds. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Punch it down. Punch and punch. Let's do another set of three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Our ten toes facing in front, legs are hip width. Bring the arm up, palm facing down. Don't swing. If you can only do halfway, that's fine for modification. Let's try some doubles. Feel free to go back to single, single. For those who wish to challenge themselves, knee drop. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Bring the weight to the chest level. Open, close. Let's try some doubles. Make sure you can see the hand in front of you. We're not going to the back. Don't injure your shoulder joints. I'm going to add a side step to challenge myself. Side steps are optional. Let's do another three, two, and one. 
slowly, slowly, really shake it out. Giving you a side view. Soft knees, slight bend, not sticking the bottom, not shifting the knee on the toes. Are you ready? Palm facing down. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Don't swing. Control your movement always. No candle points, three to four feet in front of you. That will help you with balancing. Look here, something that doesn't move. Let's try some doubles. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly release. Put the side. Soft knees. When you're ready, extend at the back. Neck is long, spine is straight. Good posture always. When you release, nice and slow. Try some doubles. Let's do another three, two, and one, very good. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. That drop, you can go all the way down to the floor. So hinging from the hips when you're ready. Hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, forward bend. If you can go all the way down to the mat, go ahead. And when you come up, use your powerful leg and core abdominal muscle to bring yourself up and keep going. You can only do halfway, that's fine. Don't round the back, drop the head. We're going to do 10 rounds all together. Pace yourself. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly, maybe shake it out and loosen up. We're going to keep going. We're going to do circular motion. Doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Keeping the arm close your body.
uh, set of three, two, and one. And release, shake it out. Change direction. So if you were doing clockwise, you can do counterclockwise. Do some doubles. Change direction, go with the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Bring the weight up above your head, dropping it to the back of your head. Hold on tight. Single, single first. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues or any issues. Engage your core to support your spine. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Let's try some doubles. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, loosen up. Widen our stand. We're going to pass the weight through our legs, so we only need one. So get this motion going. Toes are pronated out, so toes and knee line up to the corner of your mat. You don't have to go very far down. So when you're ready, you can start passing the weight through the legs. Take your time. Get low if you can. Two more rounds. Watch your back, watch your knee. One last one. Slowly, slowly release. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. Hold both weight. All ten toes facing the front legs ahead. We're going to pull it up, single, single. Only up to your shoulder height. Try some doubles. Nice and slow of control. Do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. We come on our side. 
So if you like, you can use the heavy loop band again. We're going to place it all the way up on our thighs. Come lie down on your side. So it doesn't matter which side, make yourself comfortable. Straighten out the legs, flex the feet. We're going to do clamshells so and we're going to bend at the knee. We're not going to drop the knee close to the chest. Flex the feet, bend your knees, open close for 10. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, move it further down if you like to the calf. So once again, straighten out the legs, flex the feet, bring the top leg up one to two feet off the ground. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, pat, pat, pat. Pay attention that you may have in the hip area. So we're not pounding on the bony structure. We just kind of pat, pat, pat the needy part of your legs in the hip area. Slowly release, switching side. So we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So you can keep the band on the cat first. Flexing the foot. Make yourself comfortable. Bring the top leg up one to two feet off the ground. Let's do another three, two, and one. We're going to move the band higher up to the upper thigh. Make yourself comfortable. So first, we're going to straighten out the legs. Bend at the knee. So we're not drawing the knee up to the chest. So glue the feet together. Bend at the knee. Open close for 10. Clam shell. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. And we keep the band the way it is. Come lie down on your back. Set yourself up for the bridge pose. Knees are bent, two fists apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. Chain to chest for all lying down poses. Are you ready? Lift the hip up, forming a bridge. We're not pushing the stomach up, neutral spine. Exhale to lower down, one more to at a time. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Engage your core down in the muscle, your quarters up and your glutes are firm. So in another words, pull your belly in towards the spine, your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramp.
at the arm if you wish. So if you wish to use the hand weight, you can grab a hold of the hand weight. So set yourself up, knees are bent. So when you lift the hip up, one arm up at a time, not close landing on the mat. Slowly, slowly release the arm and the hip back down. So make sure the knuckle lands on the mat, alternating the arms. Hold on tight. Don't drop your hand weight. Now hand weights is optional. You can just use the band on your thighs. Let's try some doubles for those who wish to challenge themselves. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release the hand weights and the hip back down. So once you come all the way down, you can move the band to the calf. Now maintain the tension. We're gonna lift the leg up to the sky, flex the feet. And down by the side, palm facing down, chin to chest. And we're going to get ready for our leg lift. Take a breath here. And we're going to do first round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here, second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, Three, two, don't drop it. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do two more rounds. Bend the knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Hamstring stretch, lower down for seven, six, five, four, Three, two, don't drop it, bend both knees. This is the last round. Bring your legs up to the sky, flex the feet. And last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down and you can remove the band. So from here, we're gonna do some cool down. So we're releasing on the right side. So wrap your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Gently squeeze it about 10 times. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. We're massaging all this on the right side as well as ascending cone. Right leg is doing wind releasing, farting, left leg is doing hamstring stretch. And from here, we're going to transition to spinal twist, so right foot on left thigh. 
Right arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the other side as possible. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Turn a little bit away side, the neck is good. Only the hips comes off. We are stretching, strengthening, toning lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, and we slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, and we'll repeat on the other side. Wrap your arms around the other knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, point the right toes up to the ceiling. So left leg is doing wind releasing, right leg is doing hamstring stretch. And from here, we're going to transition to spinal twist, so left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height, palm facing down. Only the hips comes off, shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Turn a little bit of the left side, the leg is fit. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles. Creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to relieve back pain. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, knee to chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a big area. Massage the lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky. Coming into a happy baby, bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, and down by your side. Nice and slow control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, raise the right arm. We're going to roll over to the right side of the body. Coming into a fetus position. When you're ready, you can use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the session. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing your energy with all of us and letting me guide through the workout. Always my pleasure.